starting from Feb 2020 22 to till now. So first thing is that when when the USSR was formed, so that time Russia and Ukraine was a part of USSR. But uh, after that, the 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 USSR ke tootne ke baad when the USSR broken, so that time Russia and Ukraine be the two parts of, and they formed a new nation. So after that, now so Ukraine wants to join NATO for its security, but uh, Russia don't allow to join NATO to Ukraine. So that's yes, completely why agree with your point that after the disintegration of the this? USSR, the Russian Federation divided into twenty-two countries, and Ukraine is one of them. And mm-hmm. Ukraine uh, shares large amount of the boundary with the Russia as the relation deteriorated after some years. The main uh, that uh, uh, crisis that happened between the two countries are the Crimea. Crimea island that is the uh, natural gas hub source for the ukraine and both the countries are fighting for its uh, 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 deposition as both the countries as it uh, influent more and more on the world scope what's your point gentlemen again with the chess number 1 i want to say that uh, i do add some points that this uh, russia and ukraine uh, has affected a lot to the all over the world they are, they have their own problems regarding uh, and the whole the country are suffering from this suffering from this problem as they do not want to fight for because this fight never goes end as eight months and three weeks had passed away by this fight and no result has been declared and this this fight has been started from the uh, as the ukraine has been divided by into uh, as the russia ussr has been divided into various parts in which ukraine was one of it therefore the this main was main case of the their refield as the people's uh, as their uh, yes, friends, were not so i think that I- so friends i think the ukraine is right for its place because uh, ukraine wants to join nato because of its security like it want to join nato for her security and another reason it it also a nation so every nation has the freedom to uh, to live and to secure its country and its boundary so i think uh, the ukraine is right against russia so what's your opinion about this Uh, according to my point that uh, russia is uh, is good on its place as uh, every country want do not want that its neighbors should be its opponents and the nato countries include the usa which is a uh, enemy of the russia and uh, russia do not want to come that the uh, usa should come to its uh, neighborhood area uh, if the any fight is occurred between the ukraine and uh, uh, ukraine and russia then the um, Uh, Russia, then the USA will come and help the uh, Russia and will uh, help the Ukraine, but it will destroy all the Russia. That's why uh, in in the place of Russia, Russia is also uh, right. What do you think, gentlemen? So the question rises: Who is right? So in my opinion, Russia. Uh, I want to favor in the favor of Russia that uh, there is a cold war between the US and Russia since nineteen fifty six, and which continued till nineteen ninety one. And uh, no country want to uh, uh, enemy resources, enemy forces, or defense forces along its border. With the inclusion of the Ukraine against NATO, European Union, and uh, definitely more fourteen countries and USA. have forces present along the border of the russia and uh, russia always sees usa as its enemy and do not want uh, the uh, pressure from the best from the russian border so every country want to protect as janakshi uh, said that every country want to sovereignty and integrity of the nation and russia is also protecting that by not including the ukraine uh, membership in the nato what's your point gentlemen gentlemen now coming to the points what are the fact case by the this war on the other countries firstly I want to say that uh, there was a food grain food shortage comes in the european as uh, the uh, russia as well as the ukraine was a great source of food, uh, wheat therefore the all over the world especially the UK, european countries were not able to get the uh, wheat all over the world uh, and they suffer a lot as the oil uh, russia has been the main uh, area uh, center of the oil producing countries that's why the, the, if uh, this country has been Prashant, sorry to interrupt oil... you but our point is like who is right at your place so i think the all member should say something about this so what's your opinion about anmol ashu we should give chance also to them 
so friends they are not saying uh, i am saying like the i think the ukraine is right because when the when the war started so that time it, the war was become was in between the russia and ukraine but now at the world has been divided into two parts two parts russia and ukraine so ukraine is fighting for a nation and also for all small countries like the countries who are who don't to secure her country only own so that that the reason main thing that they want to join nato another is russia russia is saying that no i will use nuclear power for that and putin is saying the for her for those ke aham ke liye wo sab ye sab cheeze kar raha hai so that's why i want to say ukraine is fighting for its sovereignty and integrity and it's the right for the ukrainians and russia is mobilizing all her nations and all her youth so i think this is not right so what's your opinion about this my point is uh, somewhat different from your uh, sanakshi uh, that uh, our uh, external minister jay shankar has also said that the europe all, always sees at its problem is the worldwide problem but the asia's problem are only asia's problem or not, not the world's problem europe and the usa always sought benefit by conflating or instigating the different different country against each other and took the maximum output from it as always they had uh, put a stand or a pressure on in india to boycott and put sanctions on russia but uh, how long they buying they are buying the natural gases which is the 86% of the uh, consumption that are coming from the russia so it is always the instigating or pressuring power from the best that is us and uh, europe that help uh, to to gain more from the instigating country we see that how how the situation of the afghanistan after the us uh, left them so they are creating and hyping the ukraine Javelinsky, uh, his uh, the prime minister name always instigated him to do more as they get more benefit from uh, this uh, war. Gentlemen, I want to add some points to this talk as that uh, many countries stop. said that there should be a stop, stop, stop. Ten minute is over. इतना ही time आपको हम बोलने के लिए मिलेगा. इसमें आप अपना complete opinion रख पाते हैं या आपका रह जाता है या आपको adjust करना पड़ेगा. इसलिए टू द पॉइंट बोलिए अगर आपको लगता है पॉइंट बहुत ज्यादा है तो इम्पोर्टेंट इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट बोलिए क्या आप अपने सभी बातों को पॉइंटों को कवर कर पाए टॉपिक था कॉमन टॉपिक हमने लिया रसिया यूक्रेन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हु इज राइट एंड हु इज रॉन्ग टॉपिक इज देश तो आज मेरे पास थ्री लीड्स पॉइंट के टॉपिक नहीं है बट कल से होंगे एंड स्टार्ट uh, करते हैं नेक्स्ट टॉपिक टॉपिक रहेगा आपका no not a covid 19 and topic is <laughs> who increase the corruption in india number 1 politicians number 2 corruption ko badhane ke liye kaun kaun se log zimmedar hain politician number 1 number 2 पुअर एजुकेशन नंबर तीन एंटी नेशनल एलिमेंट्स स्टार्ट gentlemen over this point directly or indirectly leading to the corruption but my opinion politician are the major uh, major effect uh, major causes that uh, contribute to the corruption as they are the legislative members they have the power to make uh, strong and strict law to to eliminate the corruption but now they are not doing this we have seen many cases uh, like the recently the punjab health minister has demolished from his position as they were asking the 1% from the all government resources also the anil deshmukh in uh, maharashtra we have seen the great politician uh, that is the home minister of the maharashtra two uh, years back and he was asking 100 crore bribery from the bureaucrats or the entertainment industry uh, per month so it was it is always the politician that has a major hand above all this what's your point gentlemen Yes, friend. You maybe you are right, but I think the main reason is poor education. Like the politician also get uh, education, and if their education is good, like when a student uh, taught by it or teachers, like the corruption is not good. Corruption is not mean that the bribe taking bribe is not a corruption. Corruption is the person is not doing her work properly for and he is not taking responsibility. so i think the main reason is poor education because in our education system sometimes we seen and we we listen like a person said that i have invested many mon- mo- much money in the my my schooling system and my education system so that's why i want to get back so i think this is the reason so what's your opinion about this 
I'm agreeing with the uh, with the yes, talks yes, of the both yeah, the chest number yeah, one yeah. as well as chest number two that uh, the corruption has a equal and uh, equal role uh, equal uh, from the politicians as well as the from the <coughs> poor education system the politicians has a major role in this as they are doing they have the function to maintain the, the democracy of this uh, india but they do not perform their activity uh, activity uh, rightly they have they uh, engage in the these uh, uh, taking bribe and uh, maintaining uh, maintaining indiscipline in the societies as uh, i am again with the, the politicians so what do you think about it yes i am agree with you that uh, both the politicians and poor uh, uh, education system also led to the uh, this problem about uh, and uh, i want to uh, like uh, i want to add some more points in this that uh, uh, because of this uh, poor education all the uh, corruption is takes place as uh, politicians are also uh, are less educated some are very well educated and some are less educated that they cannot run their uh, uh, duties or uh, run their uh, it can be said that uh, they can cannot uh, come um, give their 100% to their work that creates a difference in between uh, corruption and also uh, led to the corruption which uh, uh, which people uh, have to face uh, many problems because of them so what is your opinion as uh, sunakshi yes, said no. that who would be taken the responsibility as the many bureaucratic or the government officers are also learning from the politicians as the upper hand as they are taking the uh, uh, not taking the responsibility about doing their work on time as corruption is not about the uh, uh, taking uh, money from the uh, poor or the disabled one but also uh, with the general public about giving corruption is also a, a crime so but the politician do they as i have said that they are the outermost of the legislative party and they have the power to make uh, legislative legislative process and various uh, government policies like vigilance department uh, from the center as the state has been dis established over the years but they are insufficient uh, towards their work still the corruption cases are rising uh, day and day by day Yeah. So noticing third one point is the anti-social element. So I think the anti-social elements formed by poor education system. Like if their education is not good, if if their base is not good, so that time they become anti-social elements. So I think it is also a major reason. Like they are they are not taught by their teachers a patriotic feeling, and the environment was not created by the teachers and by their parents. So that's why their education system and I I can say that their base was weak. So that's why for greediness they take bribe and they do illegal things. So it is major reason. What's your opinion about this? I want to add some point to the Sunakshi's uh, view as the this. Uh, um, Uh, improper education system uh, make the uh, children as well as uh, students unaware of about the uh, unabout about the uh, awareness of the countries as what are going places in the, what are going in the society and they do not get the proper education and they get influenced by the people who are engaging in these corruption activities as due, due to this they also influence from this as a, this is the easy way to in, increase the monetary and they also engage in this as a proper system should be managed in the country so that they can be able uh, to get uh, avoid from this corruption so what do you think about it gentlemen yes carry forward about your point that the poor education that as I, as i have said that the giving corruption is also a crime so there should be an awareness uh, between the masses and the general public at the community level about not giving the corruption there should be a major uh, collaborative effort between the state as well as central government various uh, uh, ngos as well to make people aware through digital media through internet or through newspaper or the tv about not giving the corruption as uh, and also the anti social element as as you have said that there are many uh, loophole in the uh, legal procedure that uh, uh, that uh, that especially the tax evasion and also the ngos that various ngos has opened till date and bit uh, convert the black money into the white money and various politician get the uh, turn their black aapka mic off ho gaya hmm. so as i saying that uh, they uh, they are 
converting the black money into white money through the NGO work. So there would be proper restriction about the authority uh, of uh, NGO should be done. And uh, their uh, their income tax should be filed time to time so anti corruption uh, so corruption through the, these ngos should be stopped yes adding to one more point in my views like uh, sometimes we we see that in our education system the opportunities are less for government jobs so sometimes the people get government job after many efforts and some uh, some th- some people are that those who don't to get to jobs so that time for to uh, for their greediness they tax bribe and they they follows the illegal ways for their income to increase their income and in business we sometimes we see that the, because they have wasted many, many much much money for their education and also for to get jobs and to get to grab opportunity so for fulfill their thing to fulfill their things so they tax bribe and they do illegal things and follow the corruption so what's your opinion about this Uh, the improper education can be seen in the villages as the village people are not aware of the policies and they are not well educated that's why they uh, they laga dete apna paisa kisi ne kisi policy in the go uh, in the private sector private institutions where the, they face a lot of problems as they the people's uh, people's get profit by this and as the this leader uh, this lead the poor people uh, to make Make, uh, poor people affected by the uh, those social uh, social anti, uh, anti people. Stop, boys. Uh, 